make your links, you're going to need a rod. I'm using a half inch dowel. A uh, half inch and three eighths are really common sizes for making chain mail. You drill a hole in one end to put your wire through. I'm using 14 gauge galvanized electric fence wire. You can get a quarter mile for about 25 bucks. I place my shaft into a drill, tighten it down. Insert my wire and start winding. Once it's done, you cut off the link that goes through the hole, slide it off of the rod, and now you have something that looks like a spring. You want to cut where it's round and not straightened off, and then start cutting through. I'm using some mini bolt cutters. Uh, these are about $45, but they're worth it because you can cut four to five links at a time. Uh, normal wire cutters are really hard to get through these heavier gauges of wire. For your starter links, you want to bend them closed, just like so. And then the rest of the links, you need to bend open so that they can pass over the other links. You don't want to go too far because it will distort the ring. You start off with the rings that you bent closed and slide them onto a rod. And then you want to stick it in a vise, or I like to start with my little helping hands here because it moves around easy. Once the chain mail starts getting heavy, though, you won't be able to use something this lightweight. You line them up at an angle and put one ring through the first two and then bend it closed. You take your next ring and it goes through one ring that has the other ring through it and then a new ring so you're always going through two rings This is what your first link should look like. Now on the ends, every other one, you're going to have two links at the end, so it's only going to be through one link. So these two rows is where you have one extra link at the end, and then you'll do the same on the opposite end on this other set of rows. This is so that you have an even or the same number of rings on each row so then when you lace or link sheets together they match back up. So now on this end there's a single link through one hole to line up with the other row. Now you have a small piece of chain mail started. This is what your link pattern should look like. Then after a few hours, this is what your larger piece look like. As you can see, it expands out pretty well from off the rod. About three times the length is what you start at. 
good luck. <laughs>